All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 1 to the power of x is equal to 2. So before we even start solving this, if let's say x is equal to 1, then I have 1 to the power of 1, which is equal to 1. And if x is equal to 2, then I have 1 to the power of 2, which is also equal to 1. And you can go even x1 to, to the power of 10 is still equal to 1. So you may be thinking, what possible value of x can make 1 to the power of x equal to 2? So let's try solving this. What I'm first going to do is start by taking ln of both sides. So I get ln of 1 to the power of x is equal to ln of 2. And ln is the same thing as a natural log. And the reason I took that ln on both sides is because it comes with a property that states that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln 1 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times ln 1 is equal to ln 2. And you may be thinking, we could just divide both sides by ln1, and x would equal ln2 over ln1. However, the only problem with this is that ln1 is equal to 0. And remember, you can't, anything divided by 0 is undefined, so this would be undefined. So we know that this equation has no real solution, but it could still have imaginary solutions. So to actually solve this, I'm going to use something known as Euler's formula. And basically what this formula is, is if I have something in the form e to the power of i times theta, this is equal to cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta. And I know to many of you watching this video, this may just sound like a bunch of gibberish, but just hang on. So let's say that theta is equal to zero, right? Say that theta equals zero. So now I get e to the power of i times zero is equal to cosine of zero plus i times sine of zero. Cosine of zero is one and sine of zero is zero. So I get this all is equal to one. Now, what if we say theta is equal to two k pi and k is just a substitution for all real numbers. So, so now I get e to the power of i times 2k pi is equal to 1. Because all we did was we just substituted theta in for 2k pi into this same thing. So now, because this is equal to 1, we can sub remember our first equation, which we started with 1 to the power of x equals 2, we can substitute in this for 1, meaning I get e to the power of i times 2k pi to the power of x is equal to 2. So just think of this as 1. So I basically 1 to the power of x equals 2. And now with this, I'm going to take the ln or natural log on both sides. So I have ln e to the power of i times 2k pi to the power of x is equal to 2. So I'm going to now bring this x down using property of natural logarithms. So I get x times ln e to the power of i times 2k pi is equal to 2. 
is sorry is equal to ln of two because I, if you take one, ln on one side you have to do the other side and now I can also move I times 2k pi to the front so I have I times 2k pi times X times ln e is equal to ln 2 ln e is simply equal to 1 so I get x is equal to ln 2 over i times 2k pi. And now I'm going to multiply this by i over i. So I get x is equal to negative i times ln 2 over 2k pi. Because i squared is negative 1. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 15 to the power of 50 over three to the power of 25. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as 15 to the power of 25 plus 25. So we wrote 50 as 25 plus 25 over three to the power of 25. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 15 to the power of 25 plus 25 is going to equal 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25. And I have this over 3 to the power of 25. And now this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25 over 3 to the power of 25 which is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 over three to the power of 25. And this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times five to the power of 25. Now, another property of exponents is that if I have something from a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is gonna equal 15 times five to the power of 25 which is equal to 75 to the power of 25. So this is my answer.